Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind donation so thank you very much. We're reacting to Bill Burr, Motherhood Isn't the Hardest Job. Before we get started, y'all know I'm team Bill Burr. Y'all know I love him. I have not ever disagreed with him ever. I can find the humor in everything and I'm probably going to find the humor in this but if you're new here, a little, a little tidbit I'm a mother to a beautiful eight-year-old child um I was a single mom for seven and a half years I got married this summer to an amazing man who has stepped into the stepfather role very very well um but I was not only just a mother I was a single mom for seven and a half years and I disagree with the title that's all I'm gonna say I don't know what the content of this is but the title mm -mm. Uh, this reminds me of Judge Judy, the episode of Judge Judy where she was ripping into somebody. And she said, you want to know how I know? Because I'm a mother. That's how I feel right now. It's how I feel. But I'm going to go into it with an open mind. I'm going to open my heart chakra <laughs> and walk into this and know that this man is going to make me laugh no matter what. All right. So let's see what he has to say. with my girlfriend, right? She likes watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love to watch her watch the Oprah show. <laughs> and then I wait for Oprah to say something that I don't agree with, and then I take it out of my girlfriend, because I'm an <laughs> So, Oprah brings out this guest, she gives her this huge intro. She's been on this, she's been on that, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother. So immediately I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, really? Being a mom is the most difficult job on the planet? How many mothers died on ice road truckers last season? <laughs> Any moms get washed overboard on deadliest catch? I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but what would you rather have as a job? You want to scoop scallops off the bottom of the ocean, catching that lobster trap to the back of your head? Or do you want to hang in the sunshine with a couple of rugrats? You can send him to bed anytime you want on some trumped up charges. Because you want to have a drink and watch the prices, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe this is the most difficult job. I mean, I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead, you know? I thought that that was a difficult job. I really did. I thought it was difficult. All right. I, I understand where he's going here. Um... I definitely understand where he's going here. And I'm going to be very, very honest with you. Um, as a woman, as a mom, I have underrated the job of not just a mother, but a stay-at-home mom and a stay-at-home wife. Um, I had a job before I got married. It was a very demanding, very great job. I was in a, I had a great position and title and I was rocking it at the job got married, we moved to a different state, and um, I became a stay-at-home mom and stay-at-home wife, and it, I hated it. I, I was like mourning my old life. Um, it is, it's hard, it is hard, but I definitely was like, I loved being a busy on the go woman, and then I learned, oh, I'm still a busy on the go woman. So I get, I get what he's doing here, I get what he's saying, and I think a lot of people, not just men, I think a lot of people who are not in the space to be a mother, especially to multiple children. I always say, if you have more than one child, you're a freaking superhero as a parent, um, even more so as a mother because you're birthing them. Uh-uh. Um, but I get what he's saying here. Let's keep going. But evidently, evidently these mothers, they're bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players, going to war, pinned down by a sniper. You are petty. <laughs> He's petty. You have a perp of baby and forget to put that towel up there? There's another shirt you gotta wash. I'll lift with your knees and put it in that machine that does it for you. Dude, any job you can do in your pajamas is not difficult. Yo! Those poor bastards had to go put them out. 4,000 degrees. 
Walking in with your little asbestos shield. Just walking in. Let's be clear. Everything he is comparing mother to hood, mother, mother to hood, motherhood to is an extremely like physical job thus far. He's only compared motherhood to these things because he actually does understand how motherhood is the hardest job. Like if you're paying attention, he would not be equating motherhood to people cleaning up after Saddam or people scraping scallops off the off the bottom of the ocean if he didn't actually think motherhood was a hard job. So any mother that is watching this and getting super offended, you you got to take this man with a grain of salt because it's hilarious. It is it's actually really, really funny. And he's petty. He's so petty boots. He's petty, petty, petty boots. Petty. You want to do that or watch Bob the Builder again? I mean, be honest with yourself. Recently, I did. I went down to the pond and I got one of those free dogs. Yeah, that's how I say. I don't say I rescued a dog. I hate when people say that. It's like totally obnoxious. It's a complete exaggeration. She's a rescue. Yeah, I rescued her. Really? Did you pull her out of a burning building? Did you shoot her in a river with your clothes still on, with no concern for your own safety? Or did you just go down to the pound and get a free dog? Is that what you did? Stop acting like you had to take out a couple of guards, crawl in on your elbows, using hand signals. True. Dude, Stop you it. go down to the pound and they just give it away. <laughs> they don't even do a background check. You want to <laughs> hey, get out of here. Who's next? You want a poodle? <laughs> nah, you got a perm. It'll be hilarious. You got a perm. <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my girlfriend got the dog when I was, uh, when I was on the road. I was on the road, she got the dog. Classic girlfriend move, right? That's just a 10 to 15 year commitment. Why would you include me in that decision? <laughs> what would I need to know? So we're Skyping, I thought she got one of those little sh dogs, you know? Like a Yorkshire Terrier or something, you could punt across the room if it got out of line, right? <laughs> something you could take your day out on, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, that's and, uh, so mean. <laughs> Yorkie! Don't punt Yorkies. So we're Skyping it, let me see it. So she pans around, and I think I'm gonna see it. Some little, little chihuahua, whatever the hell those dogs are. I'm, I'm just immediately staring at like this hellhound. This just massive dog. It looks, I start freaking out. I'm like, is that a pit bull? Please tell me you didn't get a pit bull. She's like, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. Mix with what? Another pit bull? I'm sorry. Hold on. Woo, you guys. If you watch my music reviews, this is my saying in church towel. I clearly need a, a comedy concealer towel to catch all my concealer from running because this man is, he's so funny. He said, what's he mixed with? Another pit bull? Oh, man. Oh, Bill Burr. You slay me. You slay me. Every time you slay me, sir. Oh. Oh, still taped up, a shadow boxing. He's got a teardrop tattoo. It's a pit bull. What more do you need to see? Oh, it gets worse. Her and a friend actually didn't get it down to the pound. They found it by the Los Angeles River. Oh, dear God. Yeah, this thing was a real deal. She said, I go, it was out there for 10 days. Don't you think that's scary? How does she know that? No, it's scary. Because judging by its physique, it got plenty of protein over the last week and a half. It wasn't eating nuts and berries, all right? It was choking on jackers. It was twisting heads off of rabbits. He brought a murderer into the house. Just rescue an alligator while you're at it. Stick it under the bed. Add to the excitement. What? <laughs> you know what's great, though? I fell in Y'all, we have pulled tears. Bill Burr has pulled tears from my eyes. I am, I, I, this one, this one, whoo. This has nothing to do with motherhood. Unless he's gonna start talking about fur babies, this has nothing to do with motherhood. And it's hilarious. And it's so spot on. I'm not an animal girl. I, I did not have tons of pets growing up. My brother loved, like, animals growing up. Um... I have a brother that loved animals growing up. I have three brothers. Um, 
but this is so spot on. Oh my gosh, this is so spot on. It's hilarious. <sighs> my stomach hurts. I don't, I, my stomach hurts. Can we get through this, Bill? Bill? Can we get through this? I'm in love with the dog. Absolutely love this dog. I'm totally <coughs> sold on the breed. And I know a lot of people don't like pit bulls because they ate a couple of kids. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself at some point in your life to walk down the street with a pit bull. You gotta do it. It's tremendous. People just get out of the way. <laughs> I hate having frivolous conversation um that's so funny y'all this is very off topic I am about to edit in a picture right here it just dawned on me it fell out of the sky that Bill Burr looks like um Rumpelstiltskin from Shrek and I don't mean that in a bad way, like, he, but he does. He just like looked straight into the camera. I'm like, oh, he looks like Rumpelstiltskin from Sh <laughs> Am I wrong? If Bill Burr can make jokes, y'all can take this. This is, this is accurate. This is accurate. This is accurate. I love you, Bill Burr. I love you. <laughs> okay. They have this conversation. No, it's tremendous. I like the respect. Look at me. My whole life I've looked like Ron Howard. You realize that? My whole life I've been mugged repeatedly. I've never had any street cred whatsoever. Oh, the second they see this four-legged P90X body coming down the street, that's it. So P90X! Got you gotta get a pit bull, I'm telling you, man. It's like a gun you can pet. You get two of them, come down, you're just strapped. All of a sudden, there's no line at the ATM. You're late. It's just the whole world opens up for you. My stomach hurts. All right, let's wrap this up here. I, uh, I had lunch the other day, uh, I'm a big-time conspiracy theorist. I drive my girlfriend nuts. You know, I think they're about ready to microchip all of us. Yeah, they got this commercial down in the States, you know. They, you got that commercial up here for Duracell batteries? They're selling batteries, and the commercial is some woman can't find her kid in the park. That's how they're selling batteries. They all kind of way is that to sell batteries. Do you remember the old commercials? They just show some guy in a rainstorm, has a flat, pulls out a flashlight. Oh, thank God he had Duracell. You can see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there going, Kevin? Kevin? Kevin. Hey, did anybody see Kevin? Sitting there freaking out. <coughs> she pulls out this little device. Beep, 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 beep. And here comes Kevin running out of the woods. And they're like, Dirty cell batteries. It's like, dude, the hell with the batteries? What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? Right. How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? <laughs> His sneakers weren't glowing. What the hell is it, Kevin, that's connected to that device? Don't you show me that like that's normal? Oh, yeah, robot kid. Bill, leave me alone. <laughs> y'all, golly, this one slayed me. I got nothing else to say to y'all. This, You saw me just have a hysterical fit every time, every single time, every time every time nothing to be mad at that was perfect it was great comedy his genre is definitely like a whole comedy just jerk comedy he's just a jerk but he's the funniest jerk i've ever seen in my life oh i gotta go like massage my face because my face hurts from laughing go have the day you deserve you guys peace